What's up guys, Refriends here back with another video. And today we are gonna talk about pods and cleanup crews and just overall, uh, I guess how the tank is doing right now. This is uh, a month and a half into the tank. So yeah, let's get started. Um, so yesterday I got an order in of a cleanup crew. So I got a bunch of, uh, I think, Astra snails or Turbo snails. Um, also got some Seraph snails that you can see right there. As you can see, hopefully the blue is not too crazy. Also, just got this one in too. This is the Serpent Starfish. Really cool, been chilling over here, so hopefully I remember that it's on there so I don't crush it up with my uh, my uh, my blades. But um, got some Seraphs down there. Uh, and they're pretty much all over the rock work too. So this one's really cool. I gotta move them out from here so it doesn't get chopped up. But uh, so far so good. Um, but like I said, I got them yesterday, so they're doing well. They're all sticking to the glass, so which is good. Um, what else? What else? Also, just got this in today as well. Algae Barn. Of course, we got to re-up on the Ocean Magic and the Ecopods. Um, I already dumped one of them in into the tank already. But yeah, if you want Algae Barn, Ocean Magic, and Ecopods, definitely use my code REFERNYC. I think you get 15% off, but I get this in monthly. Um, basically, phytoplankton feed the pods, feed your corals. Uh, competes with out competes with nuisance algae, as you can see here. So if you're having cyano, hair algae, whatever, that phyto, uh, the phytoplankton will help compete against those. Um, what else do we got? But yeah, that's pretty much it for the monthly of what I get. So I get pods, uh, the ocean magic, but also definitely re up on your. Uh, clean up crew once in a while, maybe every six months to a year, definitely re up your population for your clean up crew. Uh, keeps everything in check. Um, the fish are doing fine. Cleaner shrimp is chilling. That's his uh, cleaning station right there. He's gotten really big actually. Uh, when I got it, it was like super small, but it's gotten really big. So all the fish congregate over here and get cleaned up. Um, corals are looking really good. Uh, got a bunch of SPS in. I'm not sure if I actually mentioned them yet, but I got a bunch of SPS in. Um, got the porcelain pour on top. We've got the bird's nest. We've got some green acros. Um, got some other acros here. I don't know. I don't know the names, guys. Come on. Oh, another cool update. Um, actually, where is it? Oh, I see one in the back. So remember how I mentioned that I put this frag in, no, no, my last video was probably last week. It's already super colored up and greened already. I don't know if you saw it, guys saw it last time, but, uh, it was like brown in spots. It wasn't really looking the hottest, but as you can see, it's like super, super, super green. Um, so shout out to the lights. These are the Illumagic X4s with the Vitamin E uh, LED bars. But also I think the tank is just like really healthy right now um, and got its color back like crazy. So uh, definitely cool to see. Um, what else do we got? We've got our A cans over here. We've got the bounce. We've got some blastos, hammers torches, frog spawns, um, but yeah, all the basic corals are here. Um, my anemone, thank God, it's staying there. Um, it's staying in this spot, so really, really happy um, that it hasn't moved or stung anything. So, fingers crossed, it stays there. Really happy that it's right there. Um, what else can we say? What else can we say? Um, selling some corals off just to make more room. Uh, I ordered a lid for this tank. Um, there have been occasions where I found fish on the floor, but obviously saved them and dumped them back in. Don't want that happening. Ordered a lid. Coming in soon. I will do an update video once I get that lid in. Um, getting some fish and other stuff in tomorrow. So maybe I will do an update on that. Uh to be added into this video so it's not too short um but yeah everything's looking really good the sand's really clean um added actually going to this tank added two um which am i calling conches right there that's one conch and there's other one somewhere else oh right there other conches right there um so basically going to be putting one of them in here i actually have one already in here right there which is that one the strawberry conch I'm just going to put another one here just to uh, speed up the process in getting the sand really clean. Um, 
I got my cleanup crew from Reeftopia.com. Um, I've ordered them, ordered from them before. Very happy with their with their uh, livestock and inverts. Uh, prices are pretty cheap and reasonable. Um, free shipping after 135. So uh, it's a win-win situation for sure. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. I'm probably gonna do an update. I'm gonna add no, I'm not gonna do update. I'm gonna add a video onto this current video to show you what I guys show you guys what I got uh, tomorrow. God, I'm stumbling on my words, guys. Help me out. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. Going to be back tomorrow to show you what I got. Stay tuned. Peace. All right, what's up, guys? Today is the next day. Just want to give you guys a quick update on what I got this morning. And a little sneak peek right there. Yes, we've got the elusive yellow tang in the tank, uh, courtesy of Biota Aquariums via Algae Barn. Um, pick them up via the Algae Barn site, so definitely check them out. If you're interested, use my coupon code, REFRANYC, for 15% off. But otherwise, I mean, Yellow Tang, the hottest thing in the market. I remember back in the days when I used to get them like super cheap, but now they're like gold bars right now. Um, but yeah, the happy, happy this one came in super healthy. It's picking off the algae off the glass already. Um, I was feeding it some pellets and some flakes. Definitely, it goes after them like, like super hungry. So glad to see that it's already eating. Um, a little bit on the, the paler side, because it is like a juvenile slash baby tang, but um, looks really healthy though. So happy to see it swimming in here. Um, currently have it in a quarantine box just so that it can get acclimated to the tank and also the tank mates uh, don't get it pissed off as quick. My only concerns are the other yellow, other, not the yellow tang, other tangs that could go after it. So hopefully, I think like I said, I can use like a mirror trick uh, to lessen the aggression. So, but they've been playing nice so far. So fingers crossed that they keep up this uh, this community aspect of the tank. Um, what else can I say? Like I said, put in the cleanup crew, we can see the, the snails there. I saw my serpent starfish somewhere. Oh, there it is. I see it, I see it. Got the arms just trying to reach for every crevice. Guys, you gotta move out of the way, come on. Starfront Starfish right there, which is cool to see. Um, but otherwise, yeah, tank's looking real good. Oh, also got the Biota Squamosa. Oh, it's already moving. That's cool, did you see that? Um, it's opening up right now. This is one of the Squamosas on their site as well. Um, so you can get 15% off of that with the coupon code. But otherwise, super healthy, super healthy. Glad to see that. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, let me grab, where is it? Hold on, give me two seconds. Let me grab my orange filter, just give you guys an idea of what everything looks like under the orange lens. Super colorful, super mixed reef. This is probably more than what I, would, I was thinking originally, so. It's coming together, it's coming together. Mixed reef, we've got your acans, we've got your softies up there. I was talking to one of my boys, King Tide Corals, this is a yellow Fiji leather apparently, which is super rare, I can't really see from here, but it's super yellow, um, and I'll probably be sending him a frag, because he's been looking for one, so yellow Fiji leather, got our LPS, Euphilias, um, SPS towards the top, Candy Canes, Zoas, Cordia's, all that good stuff. So this is definitely a mixed reef. I sort of wanted to go heavier on the SPS, but it looks like it's about 50-50, which is cool to see. Um, but otherwise, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Um, thanks guys for watching. Leave any comments, any questions. Also, if you have any suggestions on future videos, let me know. If you're having problems with your tank, um, if you're just curious about certain aspects of my tank, leave it in the comment section. I'll probably create a video based off your suggestions. But um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. Have any comments, questions, let me know in the comments section. You can DM me, you can send comments, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.